Hey guys, so today I have a unboxing from Speed Cubing Store, but this is Speed Cubing Store off of eBay. This is actually not off of a website, so I'm not sure if it's the same person, but this is from Speed Cubing Store. And this is a Diane 2, well at least the description reads, a Diane 2 Guhong Plus version 2. First we have our, our box, in Chinese, brand new box, just a box, yeah, no big deal here. We have packing slip. Then we have stickers. This is supposed to be two sets, I think it said. Then we have the cube itself disassembled. So I'm going to spend the majority of this time assembling. There are a lot of pieces in this. A whole lot of pieces. Now, this is supposed to be some kind of new version with torpedoes and funny thing is this is my first <laughs> Rubik's Cube if that's what you you like to call it so let's start by putting oh I'm sorry so it seems like for our assembly we get the torpedo put it in there and we put this piece together like that rinse and repeat. We got edge, torpedo, edge. I actually don't know anything about how the torpedoes or edges work, but I hope they work good. That's all I hope. Because this cost me $14.95. Now I'm very pleased with the shipping time. Um, the shipping took, I'd say, shipping took, I ordered it on Thursday or Friday, and it got here today, and today's Monday, so you can consider that about two or three days. Torpedoes. I really don't know what these torpedoes do, but I hope they do something useful. And these are some interesting shaped pieces. These over here. So these are a lot of pieces. Definitely a lot of stuff. I hope I'm not missing anything. I've had that before where I've had orders not not like cubes but just things in general order them and I end up not getting everything losing p missing pieces and stuff like that it's never never a fun ordeal because then you have to contact the seller and usually they're like oh you're missing something you're trying to make money off of me haha -ha. but usually you're missing something and you need to get what you're missing. And not and most sellers aren't like that. Most sellers like to to get good reviews, aka they do what you want. But don't go out and start expecting the scam sellers or anything. That's not that's not how you make friends. That is not how you make friends. I really like I really like buying things off of eBay in general because sometimes um, sellers, especially over in Asia, will have an option for you to purchase, L like you can bargain with them, basically. You can be like, say, for example, I bought a model kit. The model kit was, I think, about like $18, 18 or $19. And for about a week, I just sat there haggling with the seller. I think um, the price 
first I was like, okay, I'll give you fourteen dollars for it. And then he said eighteen fifty. And then I said, okay, I will give you fifteen. Then he said eighteen fifty. Basically, I just kept moving up to like I got to seventeen seventeen dollars. And at that point, ooh, these pieces are interesting to assemble. At that point, I, I'm sorry, this is, this is boggling my mind, okay, there we go. So at that point, I told him, I will give you 1820, and I think, I think that's what it ended up going for. So instead of spending $19, I ended up only having to spend 1820, which you may be like, "Oh, that's a couple cents." And in the end, yeah, it was a couple cents, but I successfully haggled with someone, which is something I don't don't really think I've ever really done before. So I think that's an accomplishment in itself. But this is my first Rubik's cube. It's funny because I've never had a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube before. This is my first 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Funny, funny, funny. Okay. I want. I, I hope this works great, because I was looking around and everyone was saying that Gu Hong was good, and I'm not a speed cuber, so I don't really know what's good, and I just hope this is good. I mean, the pieces are nice. They're not just one solid piece. They're multiple pieces. I think the thing that's going to be interesting is adjusting and tightening this because I'm not sure what I feel comfortable with. And then stickering this. It looks like it came with some transfer sheets, though, so I hope the transfer sheets... Or, well, I hope the stickers are the same size as the pieces so I can just use the transfer sheet to put them over instead of doing it one by one should be rather annoying. I'm also not sure if I'm going to put the oil on first because I use olive oil and it seems to work pretty good. It doesn't last long but it's readily available. So I'll I think what I'm going to do is put the stickers on since it comes with two things of stickers, I'll just throw the stickers on, I'll put oil on, and then once I get it worked in, if the sticker starts feeling off, it's not like I can't redo it. Alright, and here we have our last corner. I noticed these are kind of messy, they have a bunch of black things all over them, but it's not too bad. Let's just see insides of them. No one's going to see the insides of them. So now we have our core. And we have screws. One, two, yes, we have enough. I think we have enough. I think and hope we have enough. Because if we don't... I'm seeing fives. Okay, we got six. So, a handy dandy screwdriver, which hopefully fits these screws. Yes. Let's grab... Center. Oh, first we need to grab a washer. Actually, no. We're going to grab a spring. I'm going to grab a washer. Then we will put this piece in here. Just lightly put it into the core. Is the core even... Ah, I don't think it is. I have to tighten these into the core myself, I think. Yeah, the core doesn't even have... Whatchamacallit's in it. It's, it's not... See, this is a time where I wish I had a good screwdriver because you actually have to screw these in yourself. It's not pre. 
what's the term? Whatever the term is to describe that the piece already has little screw things in it. The problem I find with this is that the, they might be uneven. And this is really hard to screw in. Man. glad I don't assemble these for a living. That's all I have to say. Okay, now we're getting it tight. Now it's not loose anymore, so I think that'll suffice for now. So, supposedly this isn't supposed to pop. Pop, drop, lock. I don't, I don't know what the different things do. I've never, I've never had one of these before. Never played with one. Um, I know it's kind of, I seem like a deprived child, like, you never played with a Rubik's Cube? Well, I played with a Rubik's Cube. I've had friends who were like, oh, I got a Rubik's Cube. I'm like, that's cool. And then I've been researching, like, what is the hardest puzzle to solve? A lot of, I forget what a lot of people were saying, but... One of those that kept popping up was the square one, which I find kind of funny because I have a square one. I don't, I don't think it's too entirely difficult. I, I'm wondering if they're saying it's difficult because of, like, learning the algorithms and everything, or if it's difficult because if you just, like, pick it up and you're like, oh, I'm going to solve it, it's difficult to just pick up and solve. Man, these are really hard. Yeah, this is going to take a while, so I'm just going to pause the video, and I'll come back in a sec. Hello. So, I just got in all the, sorry, all the centers. So now, and I had a washer left over, which worries me, but now we get to assemble with an E the cube. So, I know how to assemble one of these. I hope that it works like a dream, because it wasn't cheap. I mean, it wasn't cheap for a do-it-yourself. Like, 14 bucks for a do-it-yourself, it just makes me think, well, it's gotta be pretty good, right? Because you're not paying someone else to assemble it, like... If you think about it, you're getting a good deal. Because I don't know how much these are normally, but... The person who would be assembling it, saving time. The person who would have to pay people to assemble it is saving money. So, I would only imply that they could sell these for cheaper because they don't have to pay for the manual labor that it would take or cost to assemble one of these. It looks pretty. It looks complicated. It looks like something that might cost fourteen dollars. Well, actually, this, I, I'm assuming that this is built a lot better. Well, I, I'm not really assuming because I know this is built built a lot better than the original Rubik's cube. So I would assume that because it's built better than the original Rubik's cube, it would perform a whole lot better than the original Rubik's Cube. I just feel like this whole thing is lopsided. I feel like it's the wrong way. Remember, I'm not an expert with Rubik's. So I don't know how to do all those fancy tricks. Let's see, corner cutting. Wow! Shoo! <laughs> Man! <laughs> the whole thing comes apart, but but you can cut a corner from a mile away. Jeez. All right, is this that's where it stops cutting corners? It's like you're funny. I'm not gonna cut that corner, but I mean, 
in real use, you're not going to have a corner like that to cut. You're probably going to be cutting like that, and it cuts that corner completely fine. Works pretty good. Pretty good. So, it needs stickers now. It does need them stickers. I'm not sure if I'm going to put oil on it or not. Because... I don't know. The only thing, the only cube I'm worried about speed cubing right, right the second is um, square one, because that's the only one I know how to solve back and forth. These ones, not so much. I'm not a master at these. All right, so we got stickers. Let's open up on up these stickers. What does the sticker pack say? It says, cover, raise this flap to open. I, I did raise that flap to open. So we got some Diane stickers. I don't understand why you'd put those on, but then we have all of our colors. Um, let's see real quick. Yeah, it looks like it fit. Um, thing I'm wondering is the color scheme. Because um, I'm going to go off the color scheme for this because I'm pretty sure that this is correct. I'm sure this is the correct color scheme. I hope it is at least. So I've seen tutorials on how to do stickers. Apparently you get the corner, if I can get the corner, wow, that that's one heck of a corner, 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 what you doing, what you doing, corner, come on, today, I would love to. That's not even the corner. Bah. Other corner. Exacto knife. Exacto knife. Yes. Exacto knife got the corner. So from what I've heard is you. Get it like this. You pull it like this. Hmm, that works. Oh no 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 no. That works pretty darn good though. That's one. <sighs> one, and then we'll get the other. Uh, let me put this washer in the bag. Now, I've always been bad with putting on stickers ever since I was a child. But I watched how the Lubix Cube guy does his stickers, so I figure what he's doing, he's doing pretty good. So, he's like making a hundred bucks a cube. So, we're getting this, and we're laying it over stickers. Not like that in particular, but it's first try. It's okay. This is really not that great, but that's okay. Right? So, we got it like that. Right? Got all the stickers on there. And then we 
peel them off like this. I said like this. Ahem. Sticker. Uh oh, this is looking hopeful. But now. Yes. Yellow side. So now we get the stickers and we try to. Nope, 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 nope. That's the best I'm going to get. Then we peel it off like this. And that's how it's done. That is our first yellow layer. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put all the stickers on and then I'll come back. So I have painfully finished stickering my cube. Um, I've done pretty terribly. There's a bunch of places with air bubbles and um, just in general. It's not not too amazing. I'm pretty sure the guy from Lubick's, Lubick's Cube would definitely not hire me to work on his cubes because I would just screw them all up. But do it yourself. This took me about half an hour in total to put together. Um, let's see. So, review. Remember, this is the do it yourself. This is do it yourself. This is not you buy it, comes right out like this. This is do it yourself. Um, so, it'll take you half an hour to an hour to assemble it. And corner cutting basically is amazing corner cutting you see that see how much corner that can cut you're never going to need to cut that much corner just just saying so basically if it's right in the middle it won't cut I don't know why you're trying to cut like that but if it's just just right before it's in the center like right here it'll cut so it's pretty freaking amazing for that. So I give it props for that. So it's got pretty amazing corner cutting. Um, it's actually a little heavier than this is, but then again this only has one screw and this has six. Um, yeah, I, I, I like this. I like this as my first Rubik's Cube. Or 3x3x3, three by three by three, whatever you want to call it. It's actually Diane. So this has been my little uneducated review of the Diane 2 Guhong Plus version 2. Um, I forgot to put it in its rightful box. It actually came with the box. I'm not sure why, but I have the box. I guess maybe if you want to resale it, that's, that's the only reasoning I can see is resale. Let's see, warning, avoid putting any parts into mouth or choke on. Avoiding to put any parts into mouth or choke on. Avoid, avoid choking on this. You better avoid choking on this. Don't dismantle cube by force. Don't don't rip it apart. All right. Chinese patents. And let's put her in her box. Oh, Got to have the the Diane logo facing. I'm sure everyone wants to buy this. Buy the Diane cube from the uneducated cube maker. So, that's the review. Thanks for watching. Leave comments, subscribe. No, really, please leave comments because I don't get many. I don't get many anything. <laughs> Thanks for watching.